point A around point B, that makes a circle. But these two single points are clones, and those two points have equal potential. So not only can point A rotate around point B, but point B can also rotate around point A. This is one radius that both circles share. That black form in the middle there, that's called the vesica piscis or the vesica piscis, depending on what you prefer. The vesica piscis is literally the womb of the universe. This is the whole essence of the universe. I'm not kidding. Sounds like a real crazy thing to say, but two circles of common radius and this shape in the middle that it makes called the vesica piscis is the whole root of sacred geometry. Literally, every single thing that exists, and I'm not kidding, everything that exists springs out of this womb, this football-like shape. It sounds like a wild, improbable, crazy thing to say, but it's absolutely true. Everyone pretty much agrees. The universe is created by division. That ultimate mystery, that great creative force, which is the all, God-mind, unity consciousness, that oneness divides and becomes duality and voila, the Big Bang. God-mind as single-pointedness divides and becomes duality and all relationship begins right there. And out of this relationship, of course, two circles of common radius and the vesica pisces. Vesica pisces. So let's look a little closer at this vesica pisces, huh? Right there it is, that's it. When we get to four circles of common radius, which naturally evolve out of these points C and D, the vesica pisces is in the middle. But we have now five vesica pisces inside four circles of common radius. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, interesting. With the creation of those points C and D, we have, within the Vesica Pisces, a triangular situation. So we started with unity, we evolved into duality, and now we have an evolution to Trinity. This is the birthplace of trigonometry, an entire division of mathematics born in the Vesica Pisces. Huh? Those two points, C and D, bisect the Vesica Pisces and create the cross in the center and a new center, point X. So this introduces the transcendental nature of this pattern. 
it slips all the way into infinity and all the way out to infinity with smaller and smaller and smaller overlapping circles and larger and larger and larger overlapping circles all the way to infinity. So, you can't learn about the Vesca Pisces in a few minutes. This is an unbelievably deep and rich form, literally the womb of the universe. Everything that is springs out of the Vesca Pisces, everything. All unfolding and spiraling and spiraling and spiraling into what we see as this manifest universe. We are sacred geometry. We spring right out of the Vesica Pisces. Omnipresent principles of the universe. That is what sacred geometry is. And the Vesica Pisces, or the Vesica Pisces, is right in the heart of that. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about.